Hey, what's up you guys? It's Alec from Team APS, your jack of all trades, master of none. And today I'm opening up EX2 Digital Hazard in association with Yoshi Sadarsu EX2 Sealed Tournament. So the way this is working is I actually have a box of Digital Hazard and New Awakening. I'm opening up six packs from each and that's what I use to construct my sealed deck. That's the special rule for this tournament. And I'll put those cards on the side as for my deck cards and then we'll rip open the rest just to see what's in this set. It's based off of Tamers, that's season three of Digimon for you guys who don't know. You know, some people call it the best uh, season. And uh, let's just get to it because I think I only got an hour. So yeah, this is gonna be fire. Uh, as you can see, Gallimon's on the cover, but he's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Belzamon, the epic, most awesome Digimon ever made. Okay, so first off, we get our box topper, since I can stink it down. We have Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. This is the one from the starter deck, but it's an alt art of it. I don't play it, but I know Alex will like it, so I'll keep it, I'll put it off to the side. All right, pack number one, let's get it. All right, good rip. We have for our rares, Antilamon and Impmon, solid stuff. We have Lotmon, Growlmon, Strikedramon. Yeah, so this set has these white cards. If you watch the season three of Digimon, you know about D Reaper, the main antagonist of that series. And they kind of just break the rules of Digimon. It's very, oh look, there's Searcher. Yeah, they're gonna be breaking the rules of Digimon. I don't even really know how the deck plays, but the main Digimon in that deck is actually the egg or the baby. Not 100% sure how to deal with that. Hopefully it's not gonna be a problem during this seal tournament. We're, we're gonna find out. All right, pack number two. We have Antilamon and Impmon. Once again, the same rares. But we this time we get Devijamon, Lotmon, Growmon, Creep Hands, Horn Striker. Oh yeah, we get our plugins in this set. These are low cost options that just augment our Digimon and make them stronger. They each have a color, but if you have a Tamer in play, you can use it no matter what colors you have on board. So if you play Tamers, plugins are great tech cards. This set actually has a few good techs and uh, we might see some, hopefully. But we're on pack number three, which is, well, that's half. That's half of uh, what we got. Oh, something shiny. We got, oh, what? This is the Belzamon Blast Mode alternate art. Guys, <laughs> look at this. If you can see it, I don't know, I'm gonna put it back on this camera. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, it's beautiful. Just for comparison, I actually do have the non alternate art over here, as, so you can see them both. You know, so one of these is clearly superior. And I will be able to use this during the tournament because I pulled it as my third pack. What else we got here? We have a Terriermon for our rare. And then we have Devijamon, Lapmon, Growmon, Fist of the Beast King, Digi Plugin S, more D Reaper stuff, Plugin A, Gummymon, oh, and Parasitemon or Parasimon as I remember it being called. This is a cool Digimon. Um, after it attacks, you can place it underneath any of your other Digimon as a source. And it's inheritable gives that Digimon security attack plus one and 2000 DP. So you can make any Digimon a huge swinger. I, I really do like this card. All right, that was pack number three. So we're on to number four. All right, for our rares, we have Reaper, one of the D Reaper cards, and Ryo Akiyama. He was he was the uh, the extra tamer, one of the extra tamers we got in season three. He he was partnered with Cyber Dramon. Then we have Strike Dramon, Mephistmon, Grand Locomon, Bubbles. That's a funny name. Digivolution plugin S, Caesarmon, and Jerry Kato, who she was uh, both the main. Uh, villain and I guess uh, victim in that series. I don't know if we'll see uh, Leomon recurring uh, victim in Digimon. All right, number five. All right, what do we have back here? We have Mega Gargamon and Lurio Akiyama. Ooh, Mega Gargamon. Let's see, for each green tamer you have in place, spend one of your opponent's Digimon. They don't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. 
that could come in handy. So guys, remember, in sealed play, we don't worry about color requirements. So I can play literally any Digimon that I see here. It doesn't matter what the color of the deck is supposed to be. Which is good because uh, this is a very spe specific and particular set. It would be really hard to have to actually abide by colors here. All right, guys, so that was pack number five. So this is my last one for this set. <sighs> Come on. We have Gallet Mine. Ooh, I think this is the alternate art Gallet Mine. Yeah, I think it is. This is beautiful. Oh, that is sick. Oh man, so I get to use two alternate arts in this. That's that's fun. And we got I am Mako. Those are Balzamon's uh, tamers. He has he has two if you watch the show. And then we have Talmon, Kazu, Fist of the Beast King, Gorilla Mon, Pilates Head. That's its name. Searcher, Labramon, always love Labramon, Grand Locomon, Mephismon, and Stripe Dramon. So those are my six packs for this set. I'm gonna quickly do my six packs for New Awakening, and then we're gonna open up the rest of this Digital Hazard box. Pack number one for New Awakening. I've opened up a lot of New Awakening, and honestly, I want more, so I have no problem doing this. All right, we have Shakomon and Ryudamon. Shakomon's a great uh, DNA, Digivolution, Digimon. It actually recovers one and can even bounce your opponent's Digimon to the hand. Very powerful and sealed. We use a rainbow rule. So even though it requires a yellow level 4 and a blue yellow level 4 to DNA Digivolve, I can use any level 4s to do this. So it's very powerful and I'm happy to have it. And then we have uh, Cherubimon, Gazimon, Karatemon, Patamon, Dromojimon, Elekmon, and Ultimate Brachiomon. Oh, Kachamalmon too. Oh, wrong set. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pack number two. We have the Digimon Emperor and Myotismon. Emperor is actually a really solid card. Uh, it punishes your opponent from moving from moving rookies out of their breeding area, so it's very very good. And then we have uh, Gurimon, Demidevimon, Cherubimon, Greymon, Skull Setamon, Skull Ultimate Brachiomon, Snow Algumon, Dromojimon, Solmon, and Senbon Dokan. Pack number three. Oh, we have Imperial Jamon Paladin Mode and Shakomon. Th this one will be a little hard to use because it costs seven, but it's such a powerful Digimon. And we have another Shakomon, which is very easy to use, so good stuff. And then we have Armadillomon, Hiarimon, Terriamon, Pulsemon, Fire Rocket. Fire Rocket's a very fun card, but only if you have like armor forms. Ginryumon, Ankilamon, Miss Memory Boost, Captain Hookmon, and Disaster Blaster. All right, this time we have Yuk Yukio Oikawa and another Shakomon. Guys, we're playing all these Shakomon. I just need you to know that we're going to play them all. Sick. And Yukio Oikawa is the tamer for the Myotis Mon strategy, but I just don't see that happening here. And then we have Candlemon, Pulsemon, Captain Hookmon, and Kielomon, Fire Rocket, Lightning Blade, Betsumon, Crimson Blaze, Dino Hiyumon, and Namakemon. All right, pack number five. Come on out, don't bend the card. There we go. We have Rapidmon and Hero Amanakawa. Now, Rapidmon's a great Digimon. It uh, it can Digivolve for a cost of three over a Terriamon, and we actually did pull Terriamons from the Digital Hazard set, so that could be really useful. But it has the Armor Purge ability, like many Armor Digimon. You essentially have to delete it twice, because if you, once it gets deleted the first time, you just remove the top card, and you reveal, and now it's still the Terriamon underneath it. So it's a very useful card, but also it can Put, it can suspend your opponent's Digimon and drop a minus 5,000 DP on their heads to make them easy to delete or spin into. Good stuff. Any, let's see. And we got Plasma Shot, TK Takaishi, Kyokyomon, Disaster Blaster, Akilamon, Frozomon, Kyukimon, Kachimamamon, Kat Karatenmon, and Scorpiomon. All right, and this should be my last pack. Let's see what we get. We have Sylphimon and Agumon. Now, Sylphimon's another great DNA Digivolution card. Uh, it just straight up drops DP reduction on Digimon and then deletes them. So it's just a it's another really good DNA Digivolution card. Everything's rainbow in here, so I'm gonna be I will definitely be using this. And uh, Agumon works with Greymon stuff, and I just can't see that coming in handy here. 
And then we have our Skull Nightmon Car uh, Cavalier mode. Rasenmon, Shirimon, Frozomon, Senbon, Doken, Lightning Blade, Skull, Maramon, Greymon, Soulmon, and Betsumon. All right, guys. So these cards are what I'm working with for the tournament. Uh, I will do my best to run everything that's cool in here, especially uh, Belzamon Blast Mode, because uh, he doesn't require Belzamon to go into him. And uh, he even gets his effect of when he's trashed from deck. He deletes a level 4 or a Digimon. I don't know if that's going to happen, but you never know. But I will play this card, and hopefully I see it on board. All right, so now I'm going to finish off this Digital Hazard box. The, it, these cards will not get mixed in with my cards for Sealed, just uh, keeping that clear. And we'll, we won't finish the New Awakening box because only because we're just not going to have enough time to, for me to deck build. But we will finish the Digital Hazard box. We see a Gilmon and a Reaper. See, these cards are going on the other side. They're going on the right side of me. Instead of the left side of me like the other ones were. Then we have Andromon, Cubimon, Locomon, Pilates Head, Fist of the Beast King, Gatekeeper, Ice Debimon, Optimizer, Jerry, and Shu Chong Wong. Next we have Kiyoman and blue card, a very good generic card that I wish I would have pulled in my sealed packs, but hey, we can't do it. But yeah, blue card essentially lets you uh, play this. If you have a tamer, you can play it without meeting its white color cost. And then you reveal the top five cards of your deck, and then you can digivolve into any one Digimon that isn't white without paying its memory cost. So you can make any Digimon into a cost three. And even if you don't do it, you can add a Digimon card from among them to your hand. So... There's always a reason to play this card. It's just really good. Really, really good. Then we have Jerry, not the Tamer, but the uh, D Reaper Digimon thing. Uh, Zhao Mon, Ice Devimon, Gatekeeper, Beast King, Pilates Head, Labramon, Cubimon, Andromon, Gargamon. God, I really wish I would have seen the blue card in the other set. Oh, well. Can't do anything about that. All right, next we have. We got Cyberdramon and another blue card. Oh, I'm hurting right now. Cyberdramon was Ryo's uh, partner in the show. He was always angry, seeming, but he and Ryo seem to get along well enough. Then we have Divi Dramon, Lapmon, Graumon, this plug in D, Horn Striker, plug in A, Pilates Head, Bubbles, Xiaomon, and Monodramon. See what we got over here. Ooh, we have Leomon, the always dying Leomon. I feel so bad for him. But he's really cool because, uh, like any good Leomon, on deletion, you gain two memory and draw a card. So if you digivolve into him for a cost of two, he pays for himself. And retroactively, that means that you, your play cost of six is really a play cost of four. Not bad. And while you have a Tamer in play, he gets blocker, so he's really trying to die. <laughs> and then we have Mono Dramon, Shu Chong Wong, Pilates Head, A, Plug in A, Striker, Plug in B, Optimizer, Lotmon, Devijamon, and Lokomon. Alright. We have Rika Nanaka, Doberman. As our rares. Rika works with all of the Renamon uh, stuff in here. We haven't seen too much of it. You really need Sakuyamon for that deck. But uh, it's all about playing your plugins and other option cards for extra benefits. Then we have Death Slinger. That's Belzamon's option card. Though it doesn't recently list him, so you can run it really in any purple deck. But uh, Viximon, Labramon, Horn Striker, Cesarmon or Cesarmon, Ice Devimon, Gargamon. Ground Locomon, Mephistomon, and Strike Jamon. Let's see, let's see. Then we have Renamon and I and Mako, Para Parasite Mon, Gummy Mon, Creep Hands, Optimizer, Plug in S, Beast King, Searcher, Lopmon, and Devijamon, and Locomon. Good stuff. Ah, I damaged that card. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, Probably can't really tell, but I did damage this Renamon because of my haphazard way of opening packs. I will be careful from now on. Mostly because I don't have many Renamon. I can't afford to keep doing that. So let's just uh, be very careful. 
It's hard to get as good a rips if I'm being careful, but oh, well, we can't be damaging cards out here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a Renamon that isn't damaged, and another Iron Mako. That's the... I have a feeling that there's some, like, situ there's a situation going, because, like, <laughs> same rares. Then we have Cubimon, Locomon, Divijramon, Plug-in D, Searcher, Beast, Fist of the Beast King, Plug-in S, Optimizer, Parasitemon, and Kazu Shioda. Let's be careful. There we go. We have Golfmon and Mother D Reaper. So like I was saying, guys, this is like the main card for the D Reaper deck, and it is an egg. It's a baby. So not 100% sure how, we, how to deal with this, since you can't target things in a raising area, but uh, we'll figure something out. Uh, and then there's Golfmon, who just looks terrifying. And there's Kenta, Wargramon, Searcher, Plug-in D, Pendulum Feet. At this point, we've kind of seen all these. Like, I'm not sure there's many, like, commons or uncommons we haven't seen at this point. All right, oh, I see something shiny. Oh, I see something shiny. Let me be very careful not to damage anything. Oh, no, this pack didn't break well. Ah, uh, what is this shiny card back here? Ah, there we go. We got, ah, Alternar Ryo Akiyama. For, uh, I guess for comparison's sake, can I pull out my other Rio? Where, where'd he go? Here he is. In case you don't see why this Rio is special. Well, he's very special. Rio, Akiyama, and Renamon. Sick. And then, uh, I mean, Fireball, Hotmon. I think we've seen the rest of these. Roger that. All right, next pack. We have Takato, Matsuki, and Gargamon. Actually, I don't know if we got either one of these so far, so that's cool. And then uh, Taomon, we've got Gummymon before, I think. Yeah, we've seen all these guys. I gotta hurry. Your boy's on a timetable and he's not doing a good job of keeping up with it. Oh, I see something beautiful back there. Let's see what it is. We have Gallantmon, the non alternate art. Now we've seen the alternate art already, so it's not, but it's not as special, but it's still pretty cool. Here he is for comparison. This is the alternate art and this is the normal art. Very cool. One prominently shows the shield and one prominently shows the, the lance. That's cool. And Gargamon, because he exists. And then uh, we have the rest of our cards. Nothing too crazy here. Nothing crazy. I just wish, I kind of wish that the packs that we're opening now were the ones I was using in Sealed, just so I can use some of the more generic stuff here. All right, we have, oh, we have Calamon. Speaking of generic stuff, Calamon's really cool. It's another, um, it's fairly generic, but it mainly works with the three Tamer cards. So when you play this, when you um, play this card from your hand, you can reduce this play cost by two. If you have Gilmon, Terrymon, or Renamon, Gilmon, Terrymon, Renamon, or Impmon in play, so that means this goes from a three to a one cost. That's extremely cheap. This Digimon can't attack, but when one of your Digimon Digivolve, you can suspend this talk card to gain a memory and draw a card. So Calamon was essentially like considered the catalyst in Digimon Season Three. It enabled other Digimon to Digivolve. So in the card game, it's going to let us Digivolve at a at like a lower cost and even draw and draw two cards instead of just one. Very, very sick, very useful. I really wish I could use it right now. Another Takato Matsuki. And then we have Taoman, Yaman, that's Impmon's uh, baby form. Okay, Keeper, da, 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 da. Yeah, we know these guys. Let's keep it going. We have, oh, we, not, we haven't seen uh, Marine Angemon yet. This is a blue and yellow Digimon. I actually been looking forward to this. I'm building a blue and yellow deck currently. But uh, for each of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards, so either they hard played it or I stripped them away with effects, you recover one uh, security. So that's for each of them. So if they have three, you recover three. However, this card says you can't increase the number of your cards to six or more. 
So you can only get to full. It won't let you go past full, but that's still pretty useful. And then the cattle mine. Oh, I wish I had access to that. I really do. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, I'm down to my last two packs, guys. And then I gotta get the deck building for this tournament. Let's, uh, I think I see an SR back there. Yeah, open up, there we go. We have Belzamon! One of the guys I've been very much looking forward to. Uh, I think, yeah, this is the only Belzamon we've pulled except for the, the beautiful, 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 uh, pull them for context. Compared to the like, alternate art Belzamon blast mode. Very, very sick. Uh, yeah, so now Bellsmine has his own deck. Uh, it's always been a, a, a pretty cool tech cards in purple decks, but now we have enough Imp Mons and other Bells of Mons. This deck is all about trashing cards from the top of your deck, so essentially you're milling to delete things and then to warp Digivolve into your Bells of Mons or properly Digivolve into them and just punish your opponent. Very cool, very sick. I wish I could use it. Then we have Henry Wong. I think it was my first Henry. Yeah, it's, you know, you use this with um, Terramon, Gargomon, Rapidmon, that whole line. And then we have just these guys, nothing crazy. Oh, Reapermon, we actually hadn't seen Reapermon yet. So like any good black card, it has Reboot. Uh, oh, also it can de-digivolve your opponent's Digimon. So this is just a very quintessential uh, black Digimon. All right, last pack, guys. Last but certainly not least, let's see. Henry Wong and Marine Angemon. Good stuff. I'm, I'm not mad about it. And then we have another Reaper Mon. Fireball. Da, 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 da. All right. Yeah. So this is my box of Digital Hazard. You saw a little bit of New Awakening too. I wish I could show it all off right now, but I can't because I'm going to be, I got to hurry up and get to deck building. But I'll pull out some of my favorite and best pulls real quick. Making sure not to mix up. Uh, cards that I can or can't use for this tournament. Because, guys, I'm not going to cheat. That's not the kind of guy I am. Uh, there we go. And then, let's see, we got the Belzamon, Gallantmon, Alt Art. We got the Golfmon, Blitz Arm, Leomon, yeah. So, real quick, let's look at my favorite, or my favorite and best pulls. We have Mega Gargomon, Imperial Jamon, Paladin Mode, Belzamon, Blast Mode, and Gallantmon. These two alternate arts, and th these two just being good. And from the things that I can't use in tournament, we have Leomon, Justimon, Blitzarm, Golfmon, Ryo Akiyama, alternate art, Gallantmon, and Belzamon himself. Very cool, very sick. I just, I think it's cool that. Well, it's not one to one because we didn't pull the alternate art normal Belzamon. We have, eh, if I can get it all together, we have an alternate art for each of these guys who I would consider the kind of like most important or coolest Digimon in this set. But all right, guys, that's all I have for now because I got to get to deck building. If uh, I hope you've already seen the stream where I play in Yoshi Sidarsu's uh, Seal Tournament. If you have it. I might do a deck profile and let you guys see what I work, what I can't, what I ended up with. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.